Greetings everyone, welcome to another Corpse Party Book of Shadows video. And yeah, we, we're, we're continuing on where, on where we left off last time. And so I kind of fixed my microphone, I guess. Um, it's still a bit uh, iffy, because for some reason, like I tried to get the settings I had before, um, because I lost all my settings, but for some reason, the microphone is just not like acting like how it used to it's like um it's picking up a lot of sound outside i don't know why so like if i like tap on the desk it like it like reads that see it's it, it, it can hear that which, which is really stupid but whatever whatever let's let's continue it sh it should not sound as like iffy like all all muffled like last time, I don't think. By the way, it says, Ah, Fukuroi, look, I think we get I think we can get outside. N no, no, you can't. Oh. I guess you can. Or not. <laughs> uh Morishige. Mayu, are you in here? Doesn't look like Mayu's in there. No luck. Oh, Mayu. Where could you be? Another dead body. What in the world is going on in this school? My, uh, Mayu mustn't be left by herself in a horrible place like this. I hope she's at least with Miss Yui or Mochida. Uh, actually, Mayu got left alone. Yes. She, 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 she went out in the world alone. Yeah, what are you doing? Don't get up there. Bro, you're getting it on my desk in such a weird way. I hit my microphone. But what's with the, what's with the music? Okay, let me, let me pull up my guide again. Uh, so what the guide tells me to do is... Where was I? Um, okay. Uh, give me one second. It says... Okay, so what I did, it says... Return to the music room, examine the candy that examine the nearby shelf and you take out the box and should find a grave tag. This is it head to uh, the stairway on the far left side of the map and ascend it, go to the hallway, one south, one east of the girls' room, yada yada yada. Okay, enter the girls' room, return to the school, exit, eventually proceed. Once you regain control, examine the corpse on the ground, okay? Head to classroom 5A and examine the cabinet, then choose to take the kite straight, okay? Uh, it's a corpse. That's only just starting. Okay. It seems to be a junior high school school girl. And from the looks of it, she was cut completely in half using some sort of edged instrument. How awful to cut someone in two, spine and all. It would take the finest katana to pull that off. Either way, or either that or some sort of machinery. The blood spray on, is primarily on the side, so I guess she was attacked from the front. Hmm. What's this? I noticed a notebook partially jutting out of her pocket. It was one of those cat beam spiral notebooks that that's all the rage of teenagers these days. There may, uh, there may be information in here relevant to escaping this hell. I apologize for intrusion, miss, but I feel I must take a look. Okay. I have no idea why you've been trapped here, but at least we're all here together. Mr. Goto's presence makes us all feel a little more at ease. Without an adult around, I don't think we could handle any of this. Mr. Goto seems even more anxious than we are. He says he'll make sure we all get home safely. But his uh, temperaments just keep getting worse. He's usually so cool, but lately, he's just gotten kind of scary. Hiroko, um, Hiroko... Um, Arisa and the others are getting really fed up with him. Mr. Goto is so unfair. He keeps playing favors with Hiroko. Uh, that, was the la that was the last of our food too. And I'm the only one who's who stopped Hiroko and Norika from fighting. Mr. Goto is dead. Okay. <laughs> no help here. It seems... Or no help here it seems. Aren't... Oh, sure. <clears throat> Aren't there any other clues to be found? Hey, 
You got any information for me? <laughs> Talking to corpses. I must be losing my mind. How strange though. That I can that I can come can come face to face with the dead now and not bat an eye. <laughs> Perhaps my sense of fear has gone numb. Up until not long ago, this girl was just looking or just looked like or just what? This girl was just like me, breathing, thinking, living her life. You look at her now, nothing but a foul smelling pile of meat. She has such a pretty face, but for long, that face is just going to rot. Not a soul. Well, when not a soul will ever want to look at her again. Damn, okay? Hey! You there, what are you doing? What? Oh, shit, I clicked the wrong one. Oh no. Oh, who are you? Ah, nothing. Um, ah, nothing of substance. Just trying to find clues as to my situation here. Oh, all right. Um, oh, all right then. I just heard a voice over here, and it got me w wondering. Uh, Shogi Taguchi is the name. As you can see, I'm a cameraman. Uh, though not an art artistic kind who's planning on hitting the indie film circuit or anything. I came here to get footage for a special report, but I got separated from my boss along the way. How about you? I got myself lost in the school building, and I'm and am present searching for a friend. Uh oh, you don't you don't mean that girl on the ground over there, do you? Ah, no, I've never met her before. Well, that's good. Well, kinda. I guess, anyway, may I ask your name and, and the name of the friend you're looking for, too, while I'm at it? Uh, I'm Sakuto Morishige. Or, I'm, Sakuta, I'm Sakutaro Morishige. And the girl I'm looking for is named Mayu Sizumoto. She's short, sm smiles a lot, and has a generally s a cheerful uh, uh, c countenance, r really. Suzumoto, huh? Suzumoto. The cameraman named Taguchi suddenly uh, flipped out the LCD screen on his camcorder and began rewinding through footage. Um, what are you doing? Well, I don't want to sound crass, but I'm checking through the footage I've captured since coming here to see if her name comes up at all. <laughs> I intend to I I intend to file a police report when I get back. So I've been gathering information on all the dead kids I found in here, like from their name tags. Bite your tongue. Don't say such stupid things. Mayu is alright, I know she is. Ah, sorry, sorry. If it makes you feel any better, I don't see anyone named Suzumoto in any of my footage. And may I say, you're really brave. Oh? Well... Whether you're looking for a friend or not, you really seem to uh, you really seem to put your all into searching a body, uh, you know. Uh, you're the one taking videos of corpses. Uh, yeah, but you're also taking care of <laughs> Well, being as being a cameraman is kind of a strange thing that uh, that way. Or it's kind of a strange thing that okay. As long as I'm looking <laughs> As long as I'm looking at them through a finder, it's all just business to me. But if I if I try to look at them with my bare eyes, I freeze up. I see. That makes sense. You're not you're not too interested in any of this, um, are you? I do have a tendency to run my mouth off sometimes. Naho is always scolding me for that. Hey, I know. How about we s search for our companions together? What do you say? No, I'm sorry. I appreciate the offer, but I'd prefer to search alone for the time being. I'd hate to get in your way after all. Like hell, I'm going to tag along with this motor mouth. Tag along with a motor mouth like this. Besides, he's my elder, so I'd have to mind my manners, which I'd really rather not do. Oh, okay. Well, uh, then... How about we arrange to meet again? There must be high EMFs in the in here or something, because nothing can keep nothing can keep time in this damned place. But what say we try meeting up after an hour, give or take? I mean, we should both count ourselves lucky to have run into another living. 
uh, into another living being. I'm sure an exchange of info must sound good. Must sound good to you too. No. All right. If that's what you want. Okay, that's settled then. Uh, you take care now. You hear? Okay. Okay. Uh, so now uh, we gotta go to classroom five A, I believe. Um, let's see. Where where was that class? God damn, there's a lot of stuff. Five A, right? I believe so. Um, five A, yes. And examine the cabinet, then choose to take the kite straight. Then head to um. First to second floor stairway at the southeast part of the map and ascend. Okay, uh, so is this cabinet? There are lots of old stationary goods inside, like rusted paper clips and beat up staplers. Not a one, not a one of them seems usable or functional, except perhaps this spool of kite string mixed in with them. Maybe I should take this with me. Uh, I'll, I'll save just in case, because you never know. Um, and also just to save my progress. Um, let's see the kite string. Opening the cabinet door and retrieving the kite string from within. Seems, uh, seems good as new and it might just come in handy. Okay. Time to head to the stairwell. Which is it? This one? Let me just check if there's any more. Uh, doesn't look like there's any more stairwells. What is that one? It says, um, head to, uh... First floor stairwell on the southeast, so north, south, east, east. Uh, this one should be, should be the, should be the, uh, the, the floor, the staircase we gotta, we gotta reach. We got by the way, after we go up there, uh, we gotta head to classroom 1A, and you'll be stopped along the way. Continue to classroom 1A, and then can, ex and then examine the cabinet within, and choose to take the wire. What are we gonna do? We're gonna hang something? Okay, whatever. Uh, let's head to classroom one. Oh, right. Okay, we got stopped along the way. <laughs> There's a large hole in the floor here. It won't be possible to go any farther down the hall. Okay. Uh, so we can't go that way. Oh, uh, where am I? So how do we get there? I guess we just continue, okay? Oh, how, how, how do we do that? Hold up. Um, it didn't really tell me what to do. It just said to continue. Head to classroom one A, and you'll be stopped along the way. Continue to classroom one A, and then examine the cabinet wire and choose to take the wire. How the fuck do I do that? I I can't. It won't let me. It won't let me. Do I go to this one? I maybe. Let's check. Uh, let, me, let me go all the way over to the other side, and maybe I can go around? I hope I can go around, because it would suck if I cannot go around, so... Yeah. Oh, shoot. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, so I guess I was supposed to go down this hallway. Um, because look, it says, Sheik, don't look at me. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. This is the hallway freaking, um, Mayu died in that. Uh, okay. <laughs> Am I hearing things now? Yeah, because, um, this hallway over here, Mayu died all the way, like, at the end of the hallway and stuff. Basically right here where I'm at, but yeah. <laughs> um, but I'm getting a rash on my hand. Um, I need to get, like, one of those, uh, mouse pads that have, like, the, the, the soft part at the bottom. No? That part, I have one. I don't know where it went, though, so. <laughs> so yeah. Well, we gotta examine, let's examine the corpse first to get, like, uh, stuff. There's a half-rotten, a rotted corpse sprawled out on the ground here. Seems to be a junior high school boy based on the size of the uniform. His student ID name tag is still fully intact. Shobu University Middle School. Osamu Barada. Okay, let's examine this. There is a twisted length of wire inside. 
The door seems to be busted, so it should be easy enough to pull out. You never know when something like this might come in handy. Maybe I should take the take it with me. Yes, let's take the wire. Yes, it can't hurt to have this in my hand. Or have this on my hand. Okay, whatever. Says so head back to Moishige's starting point. First floor, one north, one west on the exit. Okay. Okay, that's pretty pretty random, but whatever. I guess we gotta go to the first floor and then one north, one west on the exit. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so this should be it, right? One north, one west, right? Okay. Um, maybe? Hold on. It said one north, one west of the exit. Maybe that's not west, actually. Maybe this way's west? I don't freaking know which way's west, which way's east, which way's east, which way's. The. The. Uh, whatever. I don't care. Uh, yeah. Where? Where? What am I. Cause that's the exit. That that's clearly the exit right there. Um, maybe if I just start outside the exit. I don't know. Um, cause I did everything correctly, didn't I? Head the first stairway, southeast part of the map, send it. Head to classroom one A, and it was south along the way. Continue to classroom one A, and then examine the cabinet. Net within. Head back to Morishige's starting point. One north, one west of the exit. Examine the hole in the ground and choose to try fishing it out. Oh, okay. That's what I was supposed to do. Supposed to examine the hole in the ground. I think right here. And then examine the hole in the ground. Okay. Did I try? Yeah, I think I did. Uh, it'll take a bit of uh, ingenuity to get whatever that is out of the hole. Maybe I can rig something up with this wire and tight string. Uh, try fishing it out. If I were to bend this wire into a shape of a fishing hook and attach it to the kite string, I thought, then maybe I'd be able to bring up whatever it was down there, provided, provided it wasn't too heavy. Well, it's not exactly a professional grade fishing rod, but here goes nothing. Hey, I got it! Not a lot of resistance either. It, it mustn't be all that heavy. Okay, and the returns to the school exit and an event should occur. Okay. I quickly but carefully pull it. Uh, pulling the line. Damn. Whatever it was, it fell It fell off the hook before I could try bringing it back up. I <sighs> guess I didn't bend it tightly enough. Maybe it would be quicker to lower myself down into a hole a after all. Uh, though that would also be a far more risk, risk uh, reckless course of action. I'm just not sure what to do. Try to fish it out again. Hold up. What does it say? Try fish it out again. Uh, yes. And then you get my... The safer alternative is usually the better alternative, even if it is a genu a general annoyance. So, let's give this one more go. All right, got it again. I'll have to be much more gentler about it this time. Okay, well, let me go look at the wrong endings. Which one am I on? Head to the school exit. Examine the bloody shelf cover and choose to try it. Um, when given the option, choose to wait here. Uh, okay. And for the most part, except okay, so all of this stuff is just is fine. Okay, whatever. Um, for me, I'm um, pulling on the line slowly and steadily, trying my hardest not to shake it any more than I had to. Uh, I finally, I finally pulled uh the item up from be below. It was a small notepad. I flipped it over and, ugh, it's a student ID book from Kisaragi Academy. Mayu. It's Mayu's. No. Did she fall into this pit? Mayu! Mayu, are you there? Mayu! Mayu! There was no response. And not a single sound of indication of movement. Maybe she wasn't down there after all. I don't see any indication of a person down there. Maybe she just dropped her I ID. That would be the best case scenario. Yeah. Yeah. Without even realizing it, I found myself gripping Mayu's student ID tightly, squeezing it in my hand, repeated, uh, repeated, hand repeatedly as if to verify his, his, its existence. 
that it felt like her idea had been entrusted to me, and I absolutely ha had to get it back to her. It was now my mission. Mayu, I'm worried about you. If you've been injured, no, I mustn't think like that. I have to concentrate on what lies ahead. For now, I'll just consider this proof that Mayu is definitely in here somewhere. And if I look for her long enough, I'm sure we'll meet again. Oh, okay. Um, that was, that was, that was, oh, okay. Uh, we gotta head back to the exit. So, actually, let me save right here real quick. This is, uh, I can always save at the exit, actually, but, oh, whatever. Um, I'll just save right here, yeah. Um, because at the exit, uh, there's a, uh, I believe I can get the, can get the wrong ending here. I believe. Uh, so let's, let's, let's try it out. Let's see, okay. Uh, another earthquake? Can this building even survive this kind of abuse? Um, probably not. <laughs> uh, Taguchi, Taguchi's not here yet. I guess it's pro, I guess it's prob, it probably hasn't been an hour. Yeah. Probably not. Um, okay. Oh. What the hell is with these earthquakes? Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know, but in any case, everything seems to have shifted now. All the holes and cracks in the walls and the floor has ch have changed position. Look at all, I'm scared. To try not to let it get to you. What happened to the no, uh, the no nonsense Mits uh, Mitsuki? Y'all know. Hmm. Uh, Mayu, are you there, Mayu? Huh? Did you just hear somebody screaming? No, I can't say that I did. Come on, Fukuroi, uh, let's see who it is. Oh, I clearly heard it. Wait, uh, wait, damn it, she's, she's so impulsive. Okay, um, uh, that, that, okay, where, where are we going? Oh. Ah, um, um, Mitsuki, Mitsuki. What, cat's up, dirt. Um. I'm so sorry. Uh, you're not hurt, are you? Ah, uh, no, no. Uh, I'm just fine. Sorry, I didn't see you. No, I. It was my fault. I wasn't really watching where I was going. The girl I just run into was wearing a school uniform I hadn't encountered before, and standing next to her was a boy who had a halfway irritated look on his face, who was offering the girl a hand. Anyway, holy fuck. Okay. He was wearing his school jacket and she was not, so I couldn't tell for certain. But they definitely came across a classmate or at least schoolmates. Oh shit, I clicked the wrong, clicked the wrong thing. He, you're from an another school it seems, are you not? Uh, Sakutaro Morishige, 11th grader at Kisaragi Academy. Well, I'm Fukuroi. We're the same. We're in, we're the same grade. My name is Masato Fukuroi. Or what? Wait, I read it. I read it wrong. Well, then we're the same grade. My name is Masato Fukuroi, the eleventh grader at Byakudan Senior High, and this is I'm Mitsuki Yamamoto. Uh, pleased to meet you. Uh, Sakutaro is a really a, gr a grandiose name. Uh, it's like something out of a classic Japanese literature. My cat is on my lap, and she. It feels like she's sliding off, so <laughs> I think she's gonna fall. And if she falls, I get hurt, so I don't really want to tap, but <laughs> whatever. Yes, uh, I've been teased about it all my life. Uh, so sorry, I didn't mean it like that. I actually think it's pretty cool. Mitsuki, you mustn't say such boorish things the first time you meet someone. You'll cause problems for Morishige. No, it's alright. Shit, why do I keep doing that? Stop it. Click the game. Is something wrong, Morishige? Hmm. Well, you just you just seem kind of, I don't know, down. Though I I guess if you were bright if you were bright and cheery in a place like this, it would be kind of disturbing. Yeah, yeah, kind of kind of would. Ah, uh, no. 
I assure you, I'm fine. I'm just searching for someone. That's all. Oh, you too? We also got separated from our friends and... Uh, our friends and have been looking all over for them. Uh, who is it you're looking for? A classmate, a classmate of mine, Mayu Suzumoto. Is her name... Uh, is her name. She's small in stature, but a personality can, can light up a room. Ah, right. This is her. Here. Uh, su suddenly remembering that I'd fished her student ID out of that pit, I withdrew it from my pocket and showed it to the two students. Hmm, I'm afraid I haven't seen her. How about you, Mi uh, Mitsuki? Same here. Sorry we can't be more help. It's quite alright. The student ID uh, proves to me that she's in here somewhere. I'll find her on my own. By yourself? Isn't that dangerous? You're welcome to... You're welcome to join us if if you'd like. We're searching the school as well. After all, we can help you look for your for this Suzumoto girl along the way. Well, uh, well, uh, well. Now I'm at a loss. If it were Mochida and the others, uh, that would be one thing. But these are two total strangers. They seem like nice enough people, though. This Fukudoi in particular seems to have a good head on his shoulders, and they don't come across as obnoxious. Refusing would present problems all its own. Two. Uh, okay then, let's work together. So, uh, where do we go from here? Um, I have no idea. Okay, so after that it's re uh, says return to the hole on the ground. What? No, hold up. It says, uh, choose, so, okay, uh, uh, give me one second. It says, uh, temp, head towards the locker room. I'm, I'm, okay, there's way too much stuff here. Um, okay, head to more shaken starting point, examine the hole in the ground, return to the school exit. Okay, ascend the first floor, second floor staircase to the southeast, then ascend the two floor, third floor staircase to the northeast. Okay, but I'm gonna head to the exit again just to see if that hole is there. If the hole's not there, then. Damn, bruh. Damn, bruh. Because I want to get the bad ending. Oh, no, there's nothing there. Taguchi's not here yet. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's nothing here to examine. Nothing here to examine. There's a corpse on the floor. And there's something on the floor. Hold up. What is this? It's a notebook. I think I read it. Mr. Goto changed when he came here. Uh, not just his attitude and the way he speaks, but his looks, too. It's like he thinks he's king of the castle, being the only adult and the only man. And he used to be so nice. I don't want him to beat me. So I just keep patting him on the head and hugging him. And then he thinks me. Okay, so this is the girl that, um, that they were talking about earlier that, uh, that he's too friendly with. We gotta come over to this one, because this is the southeast, right? Uh, yeah, southeast. Uh, okay. And then we gotta head to the third floor. Uh, and then enter the girls' room. Okay, why are we entering the girls' restroom? It's kind of kind of sus. We come over to this one. Um, and then to the northeast, and then enter the girls' room. Then examine the shiny object on the floor. Read the various sections of the notebook if you'd like. Then choose to stop reading, and you'll obtain the class logbook. Okay, the class logbook. Well, that, that's what we're gonna get. Let's head over to the girls' restroom. Okay, well, there's a dead body in here, so let's let's address. It's a house that becomes a doctor. I'm based on the uni uniform and height. It seems to be that senior high school girl. Her head was thrust into the Japanese-style floor toilet, where she more than likely drowned. There's a student ID name tag on her chest. Uh, okay, uh, uh, like, uh Ru Ru Ryubin's Academy, senior high school. Uh, Shino Noguchi. <laughs> okay. But this shiny thing on the floor, so let's enter. Okay. There's something under her body. Or, oh, uh, I don't know exactly. Or there. I got it. It looks to be a class logbook. Wow. Um, uh, wow, Morishige. I'm kind of impressed. I don't think I could bring myself to touch a dead body like that. He's trying to find his friend, so I doubt he'd let something as simple as that stand his way. Um, having been lodged under a decaying body, or a decaying corpse, logbook has 
seen better days. Its pages are are warped and stained with blood and other fluids. What other fluids? <laughs> Class de designation 3A is still faintly visible on the cover. However, there are sections that seem to have escaped the leaking intact. Which sections should I read? Oh, okay. Uh, pull opening. Uh, disaster drills. Memorial service. Mm, I'll save here because you never know. I might, I might come back to read them all, but I'm not gonna read them all right now. I'm just trying to get through this. So stop reading. It may be best to take this logbook with us. Yep. Okay. And then now you gotta uh, descend and then enter classroom 3A and examine the podium. Okay. So let's descend. As you approach the teacher's podium, strange lettering becomes visible on its surface, almost as if it were imposed into it. Bringing back the class logbook we took from the reference room, uh, right this instant. There is no telling what's going to happen next, you understand? That don't do. Oh, oh, okay. So let's, uh, we gotta go up to the reference room, which is over here. Um, then we gotta examine the door and input the following combination, 824322. Damn, they just gave me the combination. Where would I even get the combination from? I don't know. It doesn't really tell me where to get the combination from, but it just tells me to... It, it just tells me what the combination is, but eh, whatever. Reference room, reference room. The reference room is locked. There's this dead body here. It's, uh, compared to some of you fresh corpse. Based on her uniform and height, it seems to be that of a junior high school student. Her limbs are contorted as if she died clinging to the ground like a frightened insect. On further inspection, this seems to be indicative of her injuries, as it looks like someone repeatedly bashed her feet and hands into the floor. With all this blood, it seems likely that whoever did this did this to her, did it while she was still alive. Oh, very cool. It looks as if she collapsed here, perhaps with an injured leg or foot. Uh, I'd assume she was being pursued and her leg, and her legs were crushed and she tried to hobble away quite, uh, quite thoroughly too, as the bones are practically liquefied. The attacker then seemed to have crushed her arms after the intense pain caused her to stop resisting. Cause of death was shock from loss of blood. Perhaps a pitiful and rather agonizing way to die. I wouldn't be surprised if she soiled herself. Looking closely at the girl's face, something seems off. It didn't take long to realize what it was. She had no tongue. Did someone cut it out, cut it out of her mouth? I've heard that psychopathic murderers do often take mementos of their victims, but why the tongue? What does it symbolize? More to the point, whoever did this is probably still at large. I'm getting more and more worried about Mayu. Whoever killed this woman um, was the, the weird guy, you know? The big guy? The big, uh, the big uh, monster guy? Whatever. It's locked and not with the key this time. Seems a six days. Uh, let's see if we can figure this out. Okay, it was eight, uh, and then it was two, and then it was a uh, four, a three, a uh, four, three, two, and two. I should say before that. However, bingo. The lock is now this uh, disengaged. Don't know where I would have found that lock. Uh, that before though, but. Yeah, whatever. Let's let's head inside the rest of her. The rest of her. 
Ayo. Okay, examine the center bookshelf. You should obtain a statue. Okay. Uh, the uh, center bookshelf on this side. Okay. So, this one, two, so this one? This shelf is full of science books for young children, illustrated encyclopedias, uh, biographies of important people, and other educational materials. Um, bookend one particular gap on the shelf is a ceremonial ornament depicting some kind of demon eating the left arm of a naked, headless figure. But what a frightening image! It is. It's genuinely disturbing, but well made, I'll admit. Francisco de Goya, uh, Saturno de Devorando a Suhijo, I believe it's called. Saturn uh, devouring his son, though the original was a painting, not a sculpture. You're quite well versed in art history, it seems. Are you in school? In school's art club or something, Morishige? No, I'm in the drama club. Wow, imp or, wow, impressive. How is that impressive? I'll bet he'd have responded the same way if I'd said I. If I were in the basketball club or would win the band too. I don't know. The room fell into an awkward silence after that. I became acutely aware of my own poor disposition. Though I suppose I'd I've never been very good at social interactions in the first place. I don't believe in wasting smiles on trivial things, and I never quite learned how to lie even to save face, or keep from hurting someone's feelings. Um, so I've heard, I've, um, so I've heard practice can get pretty rough in drama club, is that true? I'm sure there are a lot of variables to consider. Uh, setting the stage, uh, costuming, scripting. Mayu, Mayu is in charge of all of, all of that. I'm just the lead actor. Oh, nice being as tall and handsome as you are. I'm sure, I'm sure you must be a big hit. No, not especially. It's not the outward appearance that matters, after all, but just the acting. So, are you planning to try for an acting school in the future, then? If possible, I'd like to study abroad and apprentice with real actors. I've been saving money and focusing on language studies uh, to that end uh, for some time. Whoa, very nice. It's amazing that you've put so much thought into your future plans at this young age. I'm grateful for their platitudes, but that is all they are. That is all they are, no. These two can't possibly have any legitimate interest in in a word of in a word I'm saying. I can't even conceive of oh, I dude, I okay. <laughs> I can't even conceive of being this uh, captiv captivated by the life details of a person I've only just met. But then maybe I'm just overly pragmatic. Uh, shouldn't we be going? Aside from the sculpture, there really doesn't seem to be much anything else of note in here. Wait, we should return the logbook while we're here. True, we've really, uh, we really don't need the logbook anymore. The Goya sculpture, on the other hand, was practically calling my name. I reached for it, picked it, I uh, picked it up, uh, in it, picked it up, and handed it to Mitsuki, uh, since she has the biggest bag out of <laughs> out of all of us, or out of any of us. She looked puzzled, but took it anyway. And we got the we got the Goya statue. Okay, okay. It's awfully dark down this way. And it's really cold too. It feels like there's cold water wrapped around my entire body. Continue continuing down this hall might be dangerous. Uh, let's save and save. Let's save right here because we might die. No, we might we might die. Let's uh let's go anyway. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, doesn't something seem off to you? It does feel like we've been walking for an awful long time. This building always has such an expansive hallway. No, I'm pretty sure something screwy is going on here. 
with all this with all the distance we've covered, we should have been outside the school twice by now. Or twice over by now. Yeah. Uh, we maybe we turned a corner without realizing it. It is quite dark after all. There's no way we could have we could have. Not in a narrow hall like this. If you're that concerned, shouldn't we just turn back? Or yeah, if you're that concerned, should we just turn back? Uh yes. Let's. And so we turned around and saw nothing but an endless corridor uh, vanishing into inky blackness. It was basically a mirror image of the trek we, uh, we'd been making these past few minutes. No, no, this can't be right. Did we really walk so far that we can't even see the light of our ca candle in the distance? It's not possible, is it? Calm down, Mitsuki. It probably just blew out. It's a straight shot either way. All we can do is keep heading back the way we came. How can it be so co cold, Miss Morishige? For all, for all you know, we could have been, we could be. Freaking out about it isn't going to help matters. Let's just keep going. Morishige is right. Uh, times like these call for cold, rational decisions. It's the only way. Uh, okay. Um, did we make it? Going down that hallway, was that just, um, uh, was that just for, for not? Uh, it just says turn back. We should obtain a copper key. So, oh, thank God we made it back. Uh, honestly. Uh, crap, I dropped it. Uh, but, oh, and part of it broke off. That's not good, is it? Uh, no, no, it is most assuredly not. Abandoned school building or no, it's something that doesn't belong to you. Hmm, you really are a sticker for the rules no matter where you are, huh? May I see that for a moment, please? Uh, sure, but why? I think I see something inside it from where it broke off. Oh, hey, you're right, what is it? Isn't it just, uh, the wireframe, the... Uh, the sculpture used to hold the object's shape? I don't think so. It's not... It's not all... Uh, what? That's not all that's in there anyway. Uh, I know only... I know one way to find out. As they say something, the simplest solution really is the best. And if we wanted to see what was inside this thing... There was one surefire method. Ah! The Goya stat sculpture hit the ground with all the force I could muster and shattered into countless pieces. And there amongst the wreckage was a key made of copper. It looked old, but since it had been sealed away from the elements, all this time there wasn't a single trace of rust or corrosion on it. Uh, look, there's a label. Heavenly Host Elementary. So I guess the... So I guess this means it does indeed belong to the school building. Clearly, there was an important item we have uh, to have found. Um, item to have found. Now aware that Mitsuki's bag was not the safest place to store things, however, I pocketed it myself. Okay, we got a key. We got a key. So after the key, we gotta head over to uh, the hallway outside classroom 4A and unlock the door with the copper key. Uh, okay, I'm gonna save with me. Save, save, save. Okay, I have, I have saved. And so, um, I'm going to end today's video here. Uh, yes, uh, this video of, uh, Corpse Party Book of Shadows, uh, is now, has now came to an end. Uh, this game is pretty, is, is, is getting pretty, pretty crazy, you know? Um, but I, uh, can't wait for more, I guess. I still have, like, I think two more chapters after this one. I just want to finish the chapter, which has a lot of parts to it. I just want to finish this chapter, get the good ending, or the true ending. And then I'll do all the other endings, like, off-camera at some other point. Once I actually try maybe finish the game, because I still have two more, two more chapters left. And they aren't as long as this one, I don't think, because this one has a lot of endings. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like. Uh, subscribe 
if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, and bye bye